in another town, on another street, by the curb. Another van goes unnoticed by the world. Another day begins. Another team assembles. Another sunrise enthralls me. Another day the country falls deeper into recession and debt. Businesses close. People lack the strength of character to go on. Another YouTube channel is censored. Another person can't afford to live in a room and moves into a van. Another drop of rain hits the top of my van. Another middle-aged man built his career over 30 years, puts his sweatpants on inside a small van. Another van lifer appears into the world. As those labelled essential drive on by. But this particular man in the van has the gift of summoning the animals. He can speak their language. He knows the head massage techniques required. Cats, dogs, horses, squirrels, cows. There is no animal he won't summon for a random head massage. This is now his new purpose in life. Is to entertain random mammals, including the small number of Homo sapiens who are watching him, some concerned some amused, some entertained, some horrified. How long can this man keep up? This pretense of the new normality. One squirrel squirrels away in the bushes. Another squirrel clings onto a tree trunk as a magpie flies by. Unseen by passing cyclists, this squirrel's camouflage bends so, so perfectly into the tree bark. Oh, and a blue jay. A blue jay suddenly appears. How magnificent. One of the more prettily adorned of the Corvid family. But is the squirrel 
I was equally entertained by the Blue Jay as the Homo sapiens. Perhaps not, but their goals are nonetheless the same. Search for food in the ground. The squirrel being one of the few mammals who, like the human risk, can turn his ankle around 180 degrees to grasp the tree trunks hanging vertically, head first. Another ambulance pretends to be busy. Perhaps he'll put his siren on later. Wait, this ambulance driver is busy for he too is observing the squirrelage in the foliage. Essential work, indeed. Now, Van Man Dave from Bonnie, Scotland says, I'm not starting the van correctly. I'm not waiting for the glow plugs to warm up the cylinders before I turn the starter. Well, I have been, and I will demonstrate by recording the dashboard view of this startup. Okay, so keys in, not turning yet. All electrical circuits off. Right, key to position one, batteries on, no glow plug yet. Keys to position two, we have glow plug. When the glow plug light goes out, we'll start. Now. There you go, Van Man Dave. That's just how it is. <laughs> but in spite of the drama, I'm never in a doubt. Every time, it will start. Better demist these windows before I think of anything else. Welcome back, Gypsy John. Glad to see you've resubscribed. And uh, whatever it is that put you off before, I'm not sorry. Let's edit some videos. If Crispy Reviews is watching, I am eating extra mature cheddar with Pringles Teriyaki Rice Fusion. What a combo. Mmm. 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 Pete's James was not happy about the shade of bronze that I chose before. There's the comment. And here is the bronze I used to use. And this will be the new bronze, hopefully, that will appease Pete James. Let's take a look around to see how that bronze looks from different perspectives. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't even turn my jacket bronze, this one. I like it. Thank you, Pete. But of course, if you're going to use magic paint like that, 
what you really need is camouflage. Ooh. Yeah. And you can see that now. I'm wondering how salvageable is this little wind draft here. I mean, it was so cheap, it's not even worth the hassle of uh, repackaging and reposting and waiting for another one. Might as well see if I can botch this, this thing in. I mean, it's got a lot of contours in common, especially around the curve. The curve is spot on. So maybe, maybe I can just cut it up using the most unprofessional techniques imaginable. Let's, let's find out. Absolutely no effect at all. How about using a section of fence just to crack it like... I don't know. Oh, fence is even weaker than I expected. What about trying to lever it between two trees? Oh, 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 them. Yes, this looks promising and entirely professional. It's probably how they do it at the factory where they made them. Something happened. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Where's the ink there? Okay, she needs to snap it about there. All right, that might work. How does that end up in turtles? Oh. Oh, the wind really picked up just then, so I might have enough time before it rains to see if I can fit this part. This glue isn't like proper permanent, so let's just shove it in the corner there. Is it about there? Is that the spot? Yes, yes! Oh, well, we're in. And we're in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's proper thorough that is look at this snap here that's a beauty yes <laughs> and of course the whole object of the exercise is to provide stealth from prying eyes at an extremely low budget let's do the window up what an objet d'art. The window open a tiny bit, as would be in night breather mode. Yes. I think what it does is it draws more attention than <laughs> just a window cracked open a tiny bit. Yes, see there's the window cracked open a tiny bit and there's this great big <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not sleeping in the van there Windshield hmm Yes, I think that should work as intended <sighs> I've just been given some quite devastating news by Dave 1976 but my favorite deodorant is in fact the own brand of Towie's, what are, you, are they actors, are they people, are they fake celebrities, whatever they are, right? It's the only way is Essex TV show, freaking own brand, no, straight to Poundland. <laughs> but, but despite of its vapid celebrity origins, if ever you're in Poundland, uh, this is a damn good uh, spray-on. And Mario Falcone, 
ragazzo, scusi, è sto buono, to mix Italian and Latin and Spanish.